Okay, chapter 8, the applications of integration. Applications of integration to areas, volume, work, and average values has been uh, studied in chapter 7 and 6. Now we study applications of integration to the length of curve, the area of surface, and the center of gravity of a plate the force exerted by water pressure on a dam, the flow of blood from human heart, and the average time spent on holding during a telephone course. <coughs> course. Okay, section 8.1 covers arc length, which is the, the length of finding the length of the curve by using integration. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. For example, if we want to find the, the length of this curve, which is arc length of this function y is equal to f of x, okay, then uh, the idea is first find the small, uh, the divide the interval A to B uh, by, uh, by n pieces, and then, and, and segment, and then uh, find the uh, small piece of this, uh, uh, this curve, and then add all them like this. Finding, finding the, the approximation of uh, those small pieces of the line and add all of them and then make uh, the partition and sub-interval uh, getting smaller and smaller to get the approximated value of the length of the line. And this is the idea. Okay. This exists if this left-hand limit, right-hand limit exists. So, in order to find these lengths, and we may use the Pythagorean theorem to find the approximation of this, uh, this length from point pi minus 1 to pi by Pythagorean theorem. This uh, delta uh, x, uh, this, uh, this interval a, b was equally divided by n, uh, so uh, so, this delta xi can be written as delta x, and uh, delta uh, yi is defined for each uh, point xi minus 1. Okay, so this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, length of straight line from, uh, from pi, p sub i minus 1 to p sub i uh, can be found in this way. Then, uh, uh, then, mm -hmm. uh, in order to find this length, we need to know uh, delta yi. This delta y, y, yi can be found by uh, uh, the product of f prime of xi star times delta x by the mean value theorem that uh, we have studied uh, in the earlier chapter. By the mean value theorem applies to function f on the interval, sub interval, there exists a number xi star between uh, xi minus 1 and xi such that delta xi is equal to f prime of xi star times delta x. Okay, this, is the, uh, this mean value theorem uh, was properly used uh, to get delta yi in terms of xi. But then, uh, this delta i, delta yi can be replaced by this, and this can be simplified in this way. The square root can be dropped off, so we have the absolute value of this interval, the, the, the length of this interval can be written as square root of 1 plus uh, square of f prime of x i star times delta x. So, uh, so uh, this the arc length L 
uh, which is this, can be written as this. Since this uh, limit uh, summation can be found by using the integration, so we can have the arc length formula like this. Okay. Uh, instead, the limit uh, sigma can be replaced by interval, integral from A to B, where the delta x was found, and uh, this delta x can be replaced by dx with uh, f prime of square root of 1 plus f prime of x uh, square there. So, the arc length formula uh, is written in this way. If f prime is continuous on AB, then the length of the curve y equal f of x is uh, is L is equal to integral uh, of integral square root of 1 plus x prime of x squared uh, dx from A to B. And, also, and this f prime of x can be written as dy over dx. So this is the arc length formula. That's what you have learned in high school. Okay. If the function x uh, function is written as x is equal to g of y, if x is a function of y and y is in between uh, c and d, then, uh, then, uh, the, then if, if this function denotes the equation for the curve c, then the then length of curve, length of curve c can be written in the same form with uh, g prime of y and dy and from c to d instead of f prime of x dx from a to b. Okay, that's the, so this is the, this is the function of, in terms of y and the earlier one is the, when is the function e, x f is uh, a function of x and this function g is a function of y. Okay, that's two terms which is obtained by the interchanging the role of x and y. Okay, that's the only difference. Okay, with this formula, now we find uh, the, the, the arc length, the length of the curve. For the curve, y is equal to uh, 2 thirds times x minus 1 uh, to the 3 over 2 between the point 1, 0 and 4. Uh, 2 square root 3 determine the length of the curve. Okay, from this uh, uh, function we can find f prime of x, and which is dy dx, as square root of uh, x minus 1 because the 2 thirds can be dropped with this 3, three half and uh, subtract 1 gives us 1 half, which is this. We use, with this we use, we use the formula uh, for the arc length from 1 to 4 from A to B so 1 to 4 square root of 1 plus F prime square plus the times dx here dy F prime of x is square root of x minus 1 here so we have integral from 1 to 4 square root of 1 plus uh, this F prime of x square times dx which can be written in this way Okay, uh, so uh, this this is just the integral of uh, integral of square root of square root x from one to four with respect to x, which can be easily computed to get fourteen over three. Okay. If we wanted to do integrate, then we can just use sage with this command to get the answer, which is fourteen over three. Okay, this uh, this, this is a graph of this function. Uh, example 2. Example 2. Calculate the length of the curve uh, x is equal to g of y uh, between uh, these two points. So we can use the uh, formula for arc length. Uh, L is equal to from y is equal to 1 and 2 y is equal to 2 with square root of 1 plus uh, g prime of uh, y square times dy. So what we need is uh, uh, dy over dx, uh, dx over dy. Uh, from here, 
the first derivative of x, uh, this uh, x with respect to y can be obtained with uh, what? Uh, y cube plus uh, uh, the derivative of this one, which is uh, minus uh, 1 over 4 times uh, 1 over uh, y cube. So all we have to do is uh, substitute this uh, dx dy in here. Uh, that can be simplified as uh, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this can be simplified as from integral from 1 to 2 square root of y cube plus 1 over 4y cube uh, square dy, which is the, the, the square can be, will be deleted, and this is a simple integral of uh, this form which can be obtained in this way, which is uh, 123 over 32. The graph of this function is this. Which was graph. And the integration can be obtained with this command, and which gives us this value. Next, for the curve y square is equal to 4x cubed, which is this. Okay. okay. Uh, for this curve uh, between the point uh, x, 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 uh, 0, 0 and uh, 2, 4 root 2, determine the uh, length of the curve. Here, uh, since y square is equal to 4x cube, uh, from here we can find dy dx as uh, 3 times uh, square root of x. So, uh, we use the arc length formula and uh, substitute, substitute dy over dx uh, here gives us this. So integral from 0 to 2 square root of 1 plus 9x dx. Yeah, we can use this substitution uh, to get the answer or we can just use the say it's command to file of this uh, uh, to integrate from uh, 0 to 2 from, you know, with this function C to get the answer like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. This substitution uh, can be used to change the integral uh, of this one in terms of x to the integral of this form in terms of t. So this is a simple integration, so we can just get the answer like this. Next, next, arc length function. Now we uh, generalize the fact that we have learned. Let f is equal to f of x, and x is in the interval a from b, the equation of a smooth curve c. Okay. Smooth curve means uh, exactly what it says. It's a, it's a differentiable function. So infinite differentiable function is called as a smooth curve. Okay. curve. Let s of x be the distance along c from the initial point p0 to the point q. Mm -hmm. Then the function s of x is called the arc length function. So we uh, define uh, this uh, arc length formula from a to x and uh, define it as a function s of x. Then we call this is arc length function. And uh, using the fundamental theorem of calculus on this uh, uh, function and to, have, to do differentiate, then we have ds over dx as this, isn't it? Because, because of the fundamental theorem of calculus, yeah, this uh, integral will be, get, uh, will be uh, removed and this x replace this t. Okay, from uh, this formula, Five, the rate of change of s with respect to x is always at least 1 and is equal to 1 from when x prime, f prime of x is 0. When this is 0, then it's going to be just 1. The differential of the arc length is written like this. Okay. ds can be written in this way, and so it can be expanded in this way after we squared on both sides. Mm -hmm. ds square is equal to d, ds square is equal to dx square plus dy square. All this uh, 
uh, are done for the di differential. Okay, from the right triangle in figure six, uh, here we have a right triangle. Here, the, the, from the right triangle, uh, blue triangle, in figure six, uh, we get uh, the equation uh, seven here. And solving seven, we have ds is equal to uh, square root two of one plus dx over dy square dy. Okay. okay. So substituting ds above in L is equal to integral ds, we get the arc length formula as uh, two or three that we saw. So in the, uh, with uh, uh, without uh, the distinction of x and y, we just write the arc length formula as L is equal to integral ds. Okay, so now uh, example 4 says for the curve y is equal to uh, 4 third times x cubed plus 1 over 16x and determine the arc length function taking p naught as 1 23rd over 16 as the straight starting point. So this is a graph of this function and then uh, what we have, what we need is uh, since f of x is this uh, and f prime of x is like this so square root of 1 plus f prime of x square can be written in this way by just uh, substitute the simple uh, computation. Then the arc length, function, arc length function s of x can be written as this which is a uh, uh, simple integration from 1 to x which gives us uh, this function. So s of x can be written in this way. So, uh, so with this, uh, if we want to find the arc length along the curve from this point to this point, uh, then all we have to do is just uh, 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 this, uh, uh, since uh, this S of X was defined from 1 to X, uh, so if we want to find this arc length, then all we have to do is to find in S of uh, 3, uh, which is the integral from 1 to 3 of this, which exactly says the uh, line integral from 1 to 3 to find the arc length uh, of, this, of this function f of x. So s of 3 it can be easily computed to have 257 over 24 like this. I think that's uh, the last example of section 8.1 and uh, uh, you can use the, uh, this formula and uh, the simple integration. So all you have to do is just, is just fill out the form and find the first derivative of this one and do the integration. So all you have to do is just set up a, a formula if you need and you need uh, you can use uh, uh, tools in these computations for most of the problems. So I expect you to use, uh, use it to uh, finalize your answers. For it. Mm -hmm. In this case, if you want to find the uh, length of the curve from here to here, then in this case, uh, you set up the formula, but in, uh, as you, you better use the symmetry. So you only, you only find the arc length of the first octant and just multiply four times every. That's the easiest way of doing so. And uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, um, uh, this shows. Uh, okay, if you uh, if if we do the computation with cast tool, then just copy the address and uh, uh, I, uh, with the address uh, like this. Uh, we ah. Okay, so in this address, uh, yeah, you can you you will you can you can easily find uh, how to draw the given functions and also how to find the integral of those uh, to get the uh, answer of it. So you may copy uh, this command to solve other problems the above. Mm -hmm. okay. So 
So all you have to do is just set up the equations by using the r c l a n s formula, and that will uh, do it. Then the last problem is uh, uh, the one that uh, to compare the answers by using the r c l a n s formula to get the, uh, the length of the curve, uh, and by using the The user, uh, find the, the length using the Simpsons rule. And they are, uh, they are the example that gives you the comparison of those. Mm -hmm. And this is the photo that I took at, when we had the e q u i t y 12 last summer. Mm -hmm. I think that's it for the section 8.1. And we'll continue section 8.2. Before we start 8.2, uh, Is there any questions?